People go missing every day. Sometimes they're on a train, and sometimes they're cross-country skiing. Well, retired police officer David Politis noticed many similarities between these disappearances. In every case, no person that went missing left behind a scent for a police dog to pick up. They just vanished. Sometimes these people are never found, and sometimes they're found hundreds of miles away. Just like with our subject today, Stephen Kubaki. In February of 1977, 23-year-old Stephen took a solo cross-country skiing trip near Lake Michigan and planned to be gone just for the day. He reached the edge of the lake and decided to take his skis off to rest. When he got up to leave, he noticed that his tracks were gone and he quickly became lost and disoriented. Next thing you know, he blacks out and immediately it was springtime. He was lying in a field in the middle of a forest wearing random clothes and next to him was a backpack containing shoes and glasses that were not his. He decided to hike to the closest town and ask a local where he was and they told him that he was in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 700 miles away from where he was skiing. His aunt and father just so happened to live in Pittsfield as well. And so he knocked on his aunt's door, and his entire family was curious and shocked as to where he was. He was missing for 14 months and has zero idea of what happened. According to police, he left a 200-yard trail of footprints in the snow that led past the edge of the lake and just ended abruptly. This led investigators to believe he drowned underneath thick ice. But what happened to Steven is a mystery, and we will never truly know what occurred during those 14 months he was gone.